I wanted it to look like the royal weddings we think we've seen or have seen. And again, just bring up the beauty factor. The wedding was extremely challenging, especially because it was just such an enormous set and so many extras and so much main action at the same time as so much background action. And Karen, the home economist, who made some amazing creations. Well, a lot of the ideas came from the book. Blood sausages and they had pastry coffins filled with pork and eggs and pine nuts. So then we decided to go for colour for the buffet tables. So lots of fruit and cakes and poached pears and colours of bread as well and different textures. We've had to wire them all together so they don't topple over. Bits of gold and feathers in there too just to make it look very opulent and, and rich and glamorous. My job is very much to make sure that those things get seen and we get value out of them and the most important thing I do is find out where the cameras are and what is within the frame of the camera and what lens the camera is using. The size and the scale and the production values. Never seen anything like it. We have doves flying out of a pie. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to get doves fly out of a pie? We made about 30 pies for the cast to eat. The wedding feast was shot in about five days. It has to look the same on Friday as it did when it first went out on Monday morning. We had to leave a few things in the sun for a few days to see what would happen before we could actually start working and making the things. We've had food in front of us. The food has been out all week. It's a couple of pieces of ham, for example. But we can't touch them because they're inconsequential. We've had lots of bread and fruit and cheese and some pork and pastry, little fruit tarts, things like that, that we can offer the actors to eat if they like. You know, there's lots of beautiful meats and fruit and extravagant table displays, and it's a, it's a celebration for the senses. So there's been a lot of preparation involved in making all of that.